Oh, hello again. We have reached exercise nine, which is also a sorting method. It's called the sort by propagation, or it's mostly known by the bubble sort. So we need also to uh, sort uh, the array and uh, why it's called bubble because the method it's it's uh, it starts from uh, we we'll start from the beginning of the array and we will find the maximum and we'll propagate it to the to the end of the array like a bubble so it, it would move like a bubble so let's see an animation here and uh, uh, see how it will work so. Uh, so we'll, we have the same array, so it contains six elements, so here we will uh, proceed by uh, a round. So again, here you will notice that the number of rounds is equal to n minus 1. So let's start the first round. So in the first round, we need uh, to propagate the maximum. So we need to find the maximum and we'll, we will uh, move it uh, step by step. So we'll start with the first two elements, so 12 and 6. So 12 and 6, they are not in order, so they are not in ascending order, so I need to switch it. Now I am in 12, so I will consider 12 and 22. They are uh, uh, in order, so 12 is less than 22. I will proceed. Now I will consider 22 and 14, so they are not in order. I uh, switch, I do the uh, exchange, then I will move to 22 and 8, so again I will move. So like uh, you see that the 22 is like a bubble, so it started from the, 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 fir the at the starting of the array, and now it will move till the end of the array. So the bubble here, which is 22, now it's in its place. So 22 is the maximum, and I have moved it till the end of the array. Now again I will consider just the, the first five elements. So in the next round, so 22 is in its place. I need just to consider the five. Uh, the first five elements. So again, I will start from the beginning. So I will check uh, whether 6 is uh, in its place. So okay, 6 is less than 12. Then I will move 12 and 14. So everything is okay for now. And then 14 and 8. So I will do the switching. And 14 and 17, they are in place. So 17 is in, uh, in its place. So it's the maximum. And now I will move to the round 3. So again, so you notice that we'll have like uh, five rounds. Uh, so uh, let's uh, continue. So in route, route 3, so we have 6 and 12, they are in place. 12 and 8, so I need to do this uh, the, the exchange. And 12 and 14, they are in place. So now 14 is in its place. Now uh, pay attention here. So I have to check 6 and 8, they are already in place. 8 and 12, they are already in place. I so, so I, I, I've, I didn't done any uh, do any exchanges so because the array is already sorted so in this algorithm and the bubble sort whenever I'm in a round and I do uh, no swapping it means that I have finished and there is no need to do a second to continue the number of rounds so again in bubble sort so because it's very uh, efficient so whenever in a round I do not do any swapping, it means that the array is sorted, everything is okay, so I don't need to proceed with the remaining routes. It's more, it, it has, um, we say that we, uh, the complexity of the bubble sort is better than the selection sort because it will stop earlier and there is no need to do all the number of rounds. So let's uh, try to uh, write the code. So let's move. So we need to, to, to have an array, so let's call it A, again size, and we need the effective dimension. We need I and J because we need one for the number of rounds and one to uh, uh, calculate uh, the maximum and do the exchanges. So, and we need, uh, later on, so we need a variable to say if I, we have done some swapping or exchanging, it's like a flag. So I'll, I will declare it from here, I will call it uh, uh, exchange so and let's start so first we need to read the uh, uh, dimension enter n scan of percentage d address of n and we will do that as long as n is less or equal to zero or n is greater than size and then we need to read the array so print f Enter elements and then we'll do a for loop for i equal to zero, i less than n i plus plus, and I will do just a small scan of here. Percentage d address of a of i. So we have read the uh, array. 
now we need to uh, 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 sort the array using the bubble sort so we have seen that the maximum number of iteration is equal to n uh, uh, minus one so we can start uh, from uh, n minus 1 to, to 0 or we can start from 0 to n minus 1 so so it's it's up to you from here this time I will start from n minus 1 and i is greater than 0 i minus minus so if you can see the number of iteration is equal to n minus 1 because I'm starting from n minus 1 to greater than 0 so and, and, and so uh, I, I will first I will not use the exchange so I will do all the number of iterations so in the example I will do the first iteration even I will do nothing however and then I will add the variable so uh, this is the number of iterations so each time I need to find I need to do the swapping uh, until we reach uh, n minus 1 so the maximum is here so first I need to fix it means at the first iteration I need to fix n minus 1 and then I will fix n minus 2 so I need to move so j for example here will start always from 0 I will always start from the beginning however j will reach i included or not included so j plus plus so and here if a of i so a of j is greater than a of j plus 1 because you are checking both uh, both cells we do the swapping so auxiliary okay equal a of j a of j equal a of j plus one and a of j plus one equal ox so let me repeat so we have here a for loop so we have started from n minus one why because at, at the first round we will fix the last element at the second round we will fix n uh, minus two and minus three until we reach the first element so for that we have started from the beginning so because we need to reach to the last element so j we need uh, first it will need to reach the n minus one and then minus two and then minus three so this is the number of iterations so j will start from zero till i and for example till n minus one and then till minus two and at each time it will compare a of zero and a of one and then a of one a of two a of two a of three so the two consecutive cells for, for that we have j and j plus one and you have here strictly if we place here equal and when i is equal to add minus one so we will reach n and it will be out of bound it will be out of the array so for that we have here a strictly less than i so we compare both elements so if a of j is greater so if they are not in order i will do the swapping so for here i will use the exchange so whenever i do the exchange i will raise the flag i will say exchange equal uh, to one and i will always repeat that as long as there is uh, exchange so i will place here and as long as i is positive and exchange is equal to one so for that I will start with exchange equal to one because I need to enter the loop and at each time I'm in uh, before entering the the, the the step and do the uh, test and swapping I will place exchange equal to zero in order to see if I can modify it in the loop so before entering I will raise the flag I'll be sure that the flag is raised and before doing the checking the elements i will lower the flag to say that there's no exchanges and if i enter the loop and do the exchanges i will raise again the flag so when i loop back and if no exchanges was done exchange will be equal to zero and i will exit the loop so after exiting i will display the array so print f after sorting and the output for i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus print f percentage d a of i so let's uh, uh, run and see so let's enter six so enter six element seven three five nine zero and one and yes we have a sorted array so uh, again let me repeat quickly so we have read the dimension the array and we have done the sorting so the sorting we have uh, two for loops and the outer for loop is the 
uh, number of iterations and we have started from n minus 1 to 0 because we, uh, the bubble sort it works like that so we will find the maximum and we'll place it at the end so uh, and at each iteration we, the, 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 we will consider the array as a smaller one element so we will place uh, first the maximum at n minus 1 then we will place the second maximum at n minus 2 and so on till we reach uh, 0 so for that we have started from n minus 1 to uh, 0 and then we have started from 0 to i uh, because we need to find the maximum in the uh, first part of the array so always we're starting from 0 and we will compare the two consecutive elements and we will uh, exchange if they are not in order we used a uh, uh, flag so flag to say that we have done some exchanges or not so in the case we have done uh, a swapping we raise the flag so for that before entering the loop we should raise the flag to say that uh, uh, I, I need to enter to, to do some set test at least once so for that the exchange is equal to one and i have added the test the the condition here along with the test for the for loop so it's the middle of the for loop here so as long as the exchange is equal to one it means that i have done some exchanges so i need to continue so before to, uh, doing the inner loop i have lowered this the flag to say that i will now check if there will be any exchanges so in case there there's one exchange i will raise the flag and then i will continue after that we have printed the sorted array so this is again one of the most important uh, sorting algorithm uh, in programming not just in c and you need to pay uh, special care uh, on understanding and writing this code so if you have any question do not hesitate to drop me a message and again thanks for watching